A very good afternoon from Germany to all of you. It is uh, a pleasure for me to contribute to your conference today and uh, discuss with you the global outlook for cost of seed and oil. Impacts from the supply shortage and sharply higher prices of edible oils. What are these impacts? How long can current comparatively low palm oil prices persist? Oil World International Statistical Agricultural Information. We are analyzing the global market on oil seeds, oils, and meals, and we do this since 1958. Our connection to India has always been very intensive through all these years, and I'm happy uh, about all the friends I have in the Indian market. We are providing forecasts on supply, demand, and prices, independent, not involved in trading. At the moment, castor oil prices are comparatively low at US dollar 1310 for Kandla and at about 1580 in Rotterdam. The price average for October, February 2021 was approximately $100 below the most recent 10 year average. World supplies are sufficiently large. We expect an increase in world supplies by about 6% to a new high in the current season. Production is sufficiently large to satisfy a recovery in demand in Europe and North America, as well as further growth in China, and still facilitate an accumulation of stocks worldwide. This is good news for consumers. But the low prices, the comparatively low prices relative to competing crops, will influence planting decisions of farmers for next season and will probably result in a shortage in 2022. World production. India production has turned out better than expected. Our estimate is 1.8 million tons. Other estimates are somewhat higher. Still, this 1.8 million tons is a surprisingly good result considering the sharp decline in plantings. Uh, in two consecutive years, the average yield in India was considerably above trend. Um, better uh, technology, better quality seeds, as well as generally favorable weather contributed to two relatively high crops last year and last season and again this season. Look at the development over the past 10 years. Um, production in China plummeted from 160,000 tons now to less than 20, probably closer to 10. Brazilian production also declined sharply. Brazilian producers cannot compete with Indian uh, farmers, obviously, from 140 to only 43,000 tons. Supplies are sufficiently ample at the moment. Now, what is the uh, situation for uh, castor oil? Uh, we expect a considerable increase in production, in crushings and production of castor oil primarily in India. India has, of course, become the leader uh, and is accounting for 92% 92, 92 of world production. 
while uh, the Brazilian share is flat at about uh, 2% and production and crushings in China are declining. World imports of castor oil accelerated since the July September 2020 quarter uh, under the lead of China. They continued to stay well above a year ago in October, December. And for the full season, we see world, we expect world exports to recover and increase to 690,000 tons. China, 330, probably 320, 330,000 tons. This is our estimate and higher imports in the European Union and the US and some other countries. In China, domestic consumption of castor oil has recovered since uh, mid-2020, and this trend is likely to continue. Also for the European Union and North America, we see consumption recovering in the current season. A shortage of castor seed and oil, ladies and gentlemen, could be developing worldwide next season. This will be determined by India, of course, the key player, which accounts for 95% of world production and of world exports, sorry, 95% of world exports. At the moment, domestic prices of castor seed in India are only at around 45,000 rupees, considerably lower than domestic prices of soybeans and even more so below the domestic prices for groundnuts and rapeseed as well as other crops. There's no minimum support price system for castor. It's not an edible oil seed. Um, the uh, uh, edible oil seeds, groundnuts, rapeseed, soybeans were supported by the uh, strong world high world market prices as well as the uh, ongoing high Indian import taxes. So Castor is losing competitiveness. Um, look at what happened on the world market. Big increases since August, big increases in soybeans, 44% increase from early August until yesterday. Uh, Zoya meal also rising sharply, but biggest increases in sunflower oil prices, which at the Black Sea is currently quoting at close to US dollar 1,400. Uh, you know, also, also of course affecting India as, as the biggest importer of sunflower oil. Um, palm oil prices skyrocketing in Indonesia and Malaysia as a result of lower than expected uh, production. Palm kernel oil considerably higher, soybean oil considerably higher, and rapeseed oil. All these price increases are have influenced also the domestic prices of edible oil seeds in India. It is a situation uh, in the current season in which a supply shortage is happening at the same time in all the four major oils. Uh, considerably larger than expected uh, uh, production losses due to drought in the Black Sea region, uh, sharply reducing uh, world export supplies of sunflower oil this year. Uh, palm oil production and export supplies lower than expected in Indonesia and Malaysia stocks at minimum levels, primarily in Malaysia. Rapeseed oil tight in Europe, in Canada, on the world market. Chinese buying, China just purchased large quantity of European rapeseed oil, additionally pulling up prices. Canadian crushings and exports have been unsustainably high recently. And soybeans uh, suffered production losses due to poor weather in the US last year, as well as now in uh, Brazil and Argentina also some bullishness coming from soybean oil, also partly as a result of huge Chinese imports. 
And these bullish factors from the world market in edible oils are um, uh, affecting domestic prices in India for the edible oil seeds, and they have contributed to deteriorated competitiveness of castor seed growing in India. What are the impacts for castor oil? There is a relatively high risk of a global production deficit in castor oil developing in 2022 on account of reduced Indian production. This could be this will be partly moderated by relatively high carryover stocks from the current season, uh, but still we are heading into a tighter situation, most likely into a tighter situation next year. Consumers, castor consumers in the importing countries will probably take advantage of the current relatively low prices and raise purchases from India to build stocks in coming months ahead of the possible, uh, possibly higher prices. Uh, we expect some downward uh, price movement in edible oils on the world market in April, June, and in July, Sept. But this downward potential will be limited as long as vegetable oil stocks have not been replenished to more comfortable levels. But some price pressure is likely to occur uh, from the April June quarter on account of seasonally rising palm oil production, a seasonally rising South American zoya oil production and zoya oil exports, and in particular from the prospects of sizably increased oil seed production in the northern hemisphere next season. Uh, starting from August or September onward. And, uh, you know, farmers at the moment in North America, in several other countries, they are uh, 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 preparing to considerably increase spring plantings to take advantage of the current high prices. With this, ladies and gentlemen, I conclude my presentation, wishing you a good, uh, productive conference and if I can be of assistance, please let me know. Thank you very much.